Welcome to the unfolding of the market crash. My name is Phil Grandy of philsgang.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, this week we got more clues and incredible clues of why we're getting closer to a crash. Now, first I want you to listen to Varney from Fox Business. This is dope. More confirmation this morning that we are indeed in an economic boom. Big gains for how much we earn and how much we spend. Income up 21.1% in March compared to February. The biggest gain in history. Okay, 21% increase in household wealth. No, it wasn't. It was 21% increase in debt. That's what increased by 21% percent 21 percent debt increase why because remember it took nine trillion in one year it took nine trillion mostly borrowed money in one year to get that 21 percent household increase for one month that's debt now let me tell you what they also lie about you ever hear how they always tell you we're going to contain inflation. Our target's 2%. We're going to contain that darn old inflation, right? We're going to keep it down. Are you kidding? Are you nuts? They love it. They love inflation. If they didn't, they wouldn't be doing what they're doing, raising the capital gains by 40%, raising the tax, uh, 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 inc I mean, ra raising the increases on tax, sorry, and, of course, the capital gains uh, tax, raising those both. They would never do it if they're trying to contain inflation. Inflation is brutal, but they love it. Why? Well, because they're wealthy, because wealthy people do not live off wages. They live off assets. And let me explain. When you have inflation going up, just like this here, inflation going up, the dollar going down, that does two things. First, the debt of large corporations and the debt, our national debt, is less valuable. So they're paying it down with less valuable dollars. Now that makes that makes China grumpy, our lender, and Japan, our lender, very grumpy. Because now, let's say they had a trillion dollars of, of our debt. Well, because the debt is getting less valuable because of the inflation going up and the dollar going down, Okay, they get grumpy and they say, wait a minute, I got a trillion of your debt. Now it's only worth 800 billion. So I'm telling you what I'm going to do. The next time I go to your auction to loan you money, I'm going to want more interest rates. So listen to what I'm saying. That is going to bite us in the butt. I'll show you that in a second. But they love inflation and they love the dollar going down because it does something else the wealthy they have assets titanium platinum they have gold they have artwork that doubled this year from six trillion to 12 trillion they have rare coins they have stock they have exclusive real estate they don't have they, their wages they could care less about so Again, because they not on wages and their incomes come from dividends and all these asset prices, they want to see inflation going up. And that's why they don't complain about our debt and how big it's getting. Now, what does that do to Main Street? Oh, this is where the market's going to crash. Poor Main Street, the hardworking guy, he is screwed big time because the guy on Main Street, he works hard. The plumber, the carpenter, he works real hard. He's on wages, okay? So when there's inflation for him, that's a catastrophe because his power of his dollar purchasing goes down. So when he goes to buy some groceries, instead of getting two bags, he's getting one bag. See, there's no offset. He doesn't have all these assets, titanium and platinum and gold and rare coins and stock and exclusive real estate to offset the dollar going down. And this is why the market crashes, because we reach a point when yields get really high, when yields get really high, things go awfully bad. What does that mean? Well, here's what happens. When yields go up, here you are in March 2020. Yields in, in yields right here. You can see yields were at 20 
or 85 basis points, 85 basis, 81 basis points. Now, as the yields kept going up higher and higher and higher, and we finally reached uh, 173 basis point, that means inflation went through the roof, the dollar went down, and the rich are getting rich, and the poor are getting screwed. Now, what we want to watch, and here's a real clue when the market's going to crash, as inflation reaches about 2.3%, that's when you know the market is close to crashing. Now, I want to show you something. The biggest problem with all these tax hikes, especially the 40% capital gains, is the people who have asked at stocks, they're going to get killed because these stocks are going to drop. So we're doing a special class on May 8th from 12 to 3 Eastern, only $75, and we're going to focus on shorting and it's archived so you have it for two weeks why do you want to be losing money when a stock market's going down like this that's crazy you you want to be making money and we're going to show you with the same ease that you make money with the market going up you're going to make with the market going down if you can put off and on a light switch then you can sell short a stock and once you learn how to sell short a stock what a difference you attitude you have towards the market because now you control it. You control it. And you don't care if the market goes up or the market goes down. The bottom line before I leave you tonight, it's these yields you got to watch. 2.3% are going to a crash. Are we going to have a crash? You sh are you kidding me? With the inflation that mount you and all the printing of money and more money and more money, the dollar's going to go down. And just remember what I showed you is the guy on Main Street is getting screwed big time, big time. And remember what I showed you, the guy on Wall Street, the guy is the wealthy guys are getting so rich, okay, so wealthy. And a problem with that, we get this imbalance, market crashes. Okay, I will see you on the charts.